All right, fellas, welcome back. Crytek Crisis 3. And man, what happened with this game? A lot of you guys always ask me, Thunder, what happened with Crisis 3? Why did you just stop uploading the game? You know what, fellas? It's not that I don't enjoy Crisis 3, because I do. I, I enjoy this game. But this game, I mean, even when it first came out, I think the most amount of people I ever saw on this game was like maybe four or 5,000 people on Xbox. It's really not a lot. And I'm just constantly like <laughs> on a two bar because I'm always on a foreign host. The matchmaking is really tough because there's not enough people playing this shit. But why did this game fail? One, I think there's just not enough people playing it. The connections were sketchy. And I shot the crap out of this dude, but check this out. <laughs> check it out. He had the rapid fire, son. Look at this. Oh, he had that rapid fire. Cheese. The feline. Forget it. <laughs> so I get murked. There's just not enough people playing this game, dude. And see, I don't rage quit when I get mad. I just kick cars in crisis. There you go. I get beasted by a dude with rapid fire. I just kick the shit out of a car, and I'm good to go. Not enough people playing this game was one of uh, its downfalls. The second one was the goddamn bow. You guys know when I played this game, I would rage every day about the bow. I was pissed. The hunter bow. It's too overpowered. I, I think the single shot weapons need to be eliminated from these games. They really do. Hey, look at this dude over here. This dude's camping over here with his little bow. I'm gonna go get his ass. Take this dude right out. So the bow was a major problem in this game. And I'm gonna show you another problem coming up right here. Watch this. And look, I'm shooting this dude, and what happened? What what oh I get murked by a cloaked bitch with his hunter killer with his uh with his hunter bow. Look at this shit, dude. Come on, man. You know what? Crisis 3, you know what would have helped your game mode out a lot? If anyone shoots from cloak. They should do, like, half damage. They shouldn't do full I know when you shoot from Cloak, you get half armor. Fuck that. You should get half damage, too. Cloaking should be just to maneuver and escape, period. You should not be able to take damage or attack anyone while cloaked. That would be a good way to balance the cloaking. I think Cloak Engaged kind of ruined this game. And I know the hardcore Crisis people that love the cloaking mechanic. And look at my aim, dude. That's all over the place. I switched to my pistol and... I don't know, that, that was like some Treyarch aim resist right there, man. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> and oh, there I go, complaining about Treyarch again in a Crisis gameplay. And I noticed that you dudes absolutely love when I shit on Black Ops 2. I mean, I, I went on Twitter, because I was at work today, and in between runs, I was chilling in the station. I was like, man, I gotta upload something different for my subs tonight. I'm gonna upload some Crisis, because I, I got a bunch of Crisis gameplay still on my hard drive from when I used to play this game. I haven't played this game in about, I don't know, two months? But I had this game, this game sitting on my hard drive. So I went on Twitter and I asked you guys, like, guys, what do you want me to talk about in uh, my Crisis 3 commentary? And everybody's like, keep complaining about Black Ops 2. Fuck that game. Keep complaining about it, man. <laughs> so you guys love hearing me trash that game. Now, shit, if I knew you guys liked hearing me complain so much. Look at that little hunter, uh, the hunter bow bitch. Take him out again. Man, if I knew you guys liked hearing me complain so much, I would have kept playing Modern Warfare 3 and just complained about it all the time. Instead of saying, fuck it, I'm not going to complain about Modern Warfare 3 every single day like I did about Black Ops the first six months. And look, look what I got. I got myself a swarmer. And yes, I know I'm cloaked and I just complained about cloaked and I'm cloaked, I know. <laughs> but whatever, dude. Hey. I got me a kill, didn't I? Hey, watch this. Look at this. Oh, two-piece. Splash. Oh, my fat ass couldn't make that jump. Let me put that thing down. Having the swarmer is nice and getting all that firepower, but I hate moving slow. I hate moving slow. That's why you guys never see me with LMGs in Black Ops 2. Even though LMGs are by far the best guns in the game, you just never see me with them. And Oh, man. <laughs> I lost too much health from that jump. And that guy had rapid fire too, so forget it. There was no way I was going to win that gunfight. So I respawn right back in. And as you can see, the perks I'm using, I'm using maneuverability, uh, weapon pro, and auto armor. And this pinger thing right here is pretty sick. <laughs> that big ass tank, but we're not going to jump in that just yet. So, I mean, if this game didn't have the cloak mode engaged, and if the, it didn't have the fucking bow, I think the game would have been a lot better. The bow was just so goddamn aggravating. You're going to see a little bit later on. I get murked by the most ridiculous hunter bow shot. And I pick up this thing right here. This is some kind of alien weapon. I don't know, this thing's cool. You could pick up alien weapons scattered all across the map. You see right there, I got myself a nice kill. But Crisis 3 was an enjoyable game, dude. I mean, do people even still play this game? I mean, like I said, when I first got on this, there was only like 5,000 people. So I can only imagine how many people are playing it now. Maybe like, what, 1,000? <laughs> I mean, who knows? 
And this dude right here. Watch this. Oh, airborne son. Get beasted. Oh, puncture. What? Oh, shot him through something. I don't know. Look like he was standing out in the open to me, but whatever. I'm going to merc this guy right here. So as you can see, I'm going on a little hot streak right now, fellas. Going on a little streak. And there's people over here, so i got to run. Cloak. See, cloaking should be just to escape. And I uncloak to shoot. I shoot that guy. And I'm on a nice little killing spree right now. And I get another swarmer. Picking up these tags all over the place. Playing that OBJ like a boss. And I get the swarmer again. And there we go. I'm moving my fat ass all around. <laughs> moving so slow with the swarmer. And let's see what we got. Ugh. I made the jump that time. Come on now. Where the hell is everybody? There's a guy right there. Watch this. Can I hit the long distance shot? Oh! Awesome. That's why I hit that dude from long distance. But then I get killed immediately. What the fuck was that? Wow! Dude, what the? Oh yeah, was that the takedown? <laughs> Did you guys see that shit? He like one hit me with one bullet. The takedown. <laughs> that gun is ridiculous. Yeah, there's a few annoying guns in this game, man. Look, man, you can't have guns that kill people instantly, dude. Unless you're playing in hardcore. The takedown. Yeah, that gun is sick. I remember using that a few times. That shit was crazy OP. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so, <laughs> All right, let me move around right here. What do we got? Come on, son. Let's shoot this guy in the back. Come on. There you go. Finally killed him. I don't know. Looking at this gameplay, man. I might get back into some Crisis 3. I might just pop this thing in a little bit later. The only problem is, dude, another reason why Crisis 3 I thought failed is that, that there's just too many damn good games out right now, man. There's too many good games. Like, I mean, Mob of the Dead, the Zombies mode in Black Ops is great. <laughs> you know, say what you will about the multiplayer, but I'm really enjoying the Mob of the Dead. I beast this dude right here. And, I mean, this map is cool, too. This big, vast jungle. You could jump all around and move all around. This was, this was a great map. I really like this map in, uh, in Crisis 3. And I'm using the uh, Scar Mod 2 here. I'm not using it with any attachments at all. I don't have any attachments unlocked for it yet. I just got this gun. Well, at the time when I played. <laughs> Give me those tags, biatch. Get myself another maximum radar. And call that shit in. And there's a dude right below me. Get him, Thunder. Let's go. Oh, there's a guy up top. This dude's all over the place, man. This is crazy. Ah! <laughs> I choked big time, dude. I choked big time. <laughs> yeah, get owned. Ah! <laughs> so, music maneuverability, weapon pro, and auto armor. Some damn fine perks. I remember when I was playing this game. Now, I didn't really want to use auto armor all the time, but it's just, it's so worth running. It really is, because... When you're playing this game, you're doing so many things. Sometimes you forget to armor up and you just die. Auto armor just kicks in. It's one less thing to worry about. Auto armor, I mean, you could call it noobish all you want, but I, I just enjoy it. It's like the default perk to run, and I just choose between the other two perks, which is usually maneuverability and, and something else. Maneuverability is such a great perk to use in this game. It just lets you fly around the map so fast. And I don't know if the camera angles are tricky <laughs> like they are in Black Ops 2, but I just love uh, I just love the feeling my character has when I have the maneuverability perk on. It's just it's awesome. So maneuverability and uh, auto armor, you can't go wrong with those two. And for your third perk, man, just pick anything. Just pick anything you want. And wait, I think I get a ridiculous death coming up here pretty soon. I get another challenge complete. As you can see, man, this game's fun. Even looking back at it now, I mean, the game just looks awesome. And wait a minute, something, something bullshit. I, I can smell the bullshit from here. Something funny is about to happen. Oh, look at me, look at me. Own this dude right here. Get denied, son. So I kill that dude, pick up my maximum radar. And wait a minute, where is it? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I just died from out of nowhere. Watch this, dude. Watch this, watch this kill. Look at this hunter. What's this dude doing? He just. <laughs> he just. Oh my god. I remember, I remember I was screaming when that dude killed me. He just whips back his bow while he's cloaked and just looks around and goes, Bloop, I'll just release it here. And it just insta-kills me, even though I'm using auto armor. See what I'm saying, dude? These one-hit kill, insta-kill weapons are bullshit, dude. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. They need to be taken out of these damn games. Like, even when you're playing Call of Duty, do you guys like getting one-hit kill by a tomahawk to the foot? I mean, it's just stupid, man. One hit kill should be upper torso. That's it, period. And there you go. I get the MVP. And, you know, pretty decent game. And I had Host Pro this game, so I guess Host is good. See that player card I got right there, guys? That's the Dirty Dozen. The 12 men with the X. You've got to go on a 12 streak to unlock that player card. A lot of people have been asking me about that, but yeah. All right, so there you go. And there's the highlight reel. Pretty damn cool. So, Crisis 3, man. You know, doing some splashing with the Swarmer. This is the class I was using. Crisis 3, the game just didn't catch on like I thought it would, but 
I, for the brief time I spent on it, I enjoyed it. I had fun. And the campaign was pretty damn good, too. It's kind of short, but it was still pretty damn good. And there you go, guys. Uh, a little trip back, a nostalgic trip back to Crisis 3. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to drop a like on the video because it really helps me out a lot. It's your boy Thunder. I'll see you on the next one. Peace!